I posted up on Instagram asking you guys which comparison you wanted to see with the new Nest Cam battery. And you guys voted for Eufy. So in this video today, we are going to be comparing the Eufy Cam 2C Pro. This is their 2K version, the best camera that Eufy offers at this point. Comparing it to the Nest Cam battery, we're gonna see which one is better. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, I highly suggest you go and do that. I'll put a link down below for you guys to go and follow me over there. But we are gonna be comparing these two cameras together. Now I know this is a 2K camera, but you know, unfortunately it's the only one I have. And personally, I think that this is the best one that Eufy offers right now. We're gonna be comparing it obviously to the Nest Cam battery. Now these two cameras have a lot in common because a lot of features that you're getting with this new Nest Cam come free now. You don't have to have a subscription if you don't want to and that is very similar to Eufy. They include all of their stuff because with Eufy you don't have to have a subscription. They do have a subscription plan but if you don't want the subscription plan you don't have to have it. This camera records everything locally to a base station that is sitting in my house. So I don't have to have any subscription fees. Everything records to this camera. Where with the Nest, we're actually gonna get only three free hours of recording to the cloud. So this is going to record three hours for us for free, but it comes with a lot of the cool features that the Eufy has. And that's going to be person detection, animal detection, package detection. Those are all gonna come free with these cameras other than like, Arlo and Ring where you have to have the subscription to get those features. So enough talking about these two cameras. Let's take a look at some demos of what these cameras look like side by side. All right, we've got both cameras set up right next to each other. I think I've got the angle right for both of these guys, but this is the test that we will be doing. Here's what they're looking like to give you guys an idea of color. So we've got kind of a blue chair and an orange bucket in there, but this is what the colors should look like. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look now at what the demos look like and see how color accurate these guys are. All right, now we're testing out the Eufy camera, comparing it to the Nest camera. About six feet away from these cameras right now, we're gonna be doing an audio and video test, seeing what these two look like. So I'm gonna back all the way up to about 20, 25 feet away from these cameras give you an idea of what they look and sound like. So I'm about 25 feet all the way back here. Now let's walk back up. Next, we're gonna be doing an evening shot, seeing what these cameras look like, and then also a night shot comparing these two cameras together. All right, this is the camera with the evening shots right now. So I am six feet away from the cameras. This is what it looks like. And we've got a couple of Jedi Knights fighting all the way back there from about 25 to 30 feet away. So this is what it looks and sounds like in the evening. Now we're just gonna take a look at some night shots. All right, this is the night vision with the Nest camera. This is me about six, seven feet away from the camera right now. Let's back up and take a look at it. All right, that is what the night vision looks like with the Nest Cam. All right, now this is what the Eufy Cam looks like. Now, obviously, we are not using the spotlight on this one. Just want to give you guys an idea of what the night vision looks like. We'll take a look at the spotlight next. That is up close. That is from far away. So now that we've seen what it looks like without the spotlight, let's take a look at it now with the spotlight. All right, there we go with the spotlight. This is what makes this camera so good is having that built in spotlight. It's something that the Nest is really missing, but here it is up close. Let me back up and show you guys what it looks like. All right, so that is what the Eufy cam looks like at tonight with this spotlight turned on. Hmm, 
Okay, so my initial thoughts is that I love what Google is providing for those day shots. I wanna be super excited about them. They're bright, they're colorful, they look amazing. But I also need to remember these are security cameras and I'm not necessarily buying these for their color accuracy like I would a camera like this one. I am buying these to be nice, well-rounded cameras that look good, but also function well. Now here are my thoughts with Nest. They did a fantastic job with the daytime shots. I absolutely loved them, they look fantastic. Their night shots weren't that good, they were kind of dark. If you look at the shot of me walking all the way back to the fence, when I'm back at that back gate, you can barely see anything. So assume that something is happening, a robbery, anything like that, something is lurking around my fence, I'm not gonna get much detail on those night shots right there, which is a big disappointment. Now, if we look at Yuffie, Yuffie's picture quality looked a little bit faded. During the daytime shots, they weren't that great, at least compared to Nest. Now, prior to comparing it to Nest, I liked it. I, I really was happy with the Yuffie shots, but it just goes to show that when you compare it to something that looks just so much better, all of a sudden you realize it's not as great as you initially thought. But with that said, even though Yuffie didn't have the best quality when it came to the day shots, especially comparing it, their 2K camera to a 1080p camera, to me, their night shots looked better. Now, granted, when that spotlight was on, I was too close to it, so I was completely washed out. You're not gonna have somebody up normally that close to it. But when I don't have the spotlight on and I'm walking far away, you can see me good back at the gate. When I come up close, yeah, I was a little bit too washed out, especially with that spotlight on, but I also wanna talk about the spotlight. I'm really disappointed that Nest does not have a spotlight because that is a good deterrent. Now, I know people sit in two different camps when it comes to that. They want their security cameras to be hidden so that way they catch any bad guys doing what they're going to do. And that's a camp that I used to be in. I used to want to hide my security cameras so people couldn't see them. I am now to the point where I want people to see my security cameras. I want to prevent any kind of burglary or robbery or any kind of weird thing that may happen before it happens. So now I want my cameras to be seen and a great way to do that at night is a spotlight. So I'm really disappointed that Nest didn't have a spotlight with this camera. I know they're coming out with a floodlight camera, but that I believe has to be wired in. We'll see when that comes out and get some more details on it. But we are comparing these two cameras together. So who is coming out as the winner? Honestly, I really wanna say that Nest won this thing. I mean, the image quality was just so good for a 1080p camera. The colors were great. The audio, the audio was phenomenal. It's probably the best I've ever heard out of any security camera. But the night shots are lacking. They just, they don't have that spotlight. They didn't do that good from really far away, which I feel like you need for a camera. So Nest was exceptional in half of what you need it for. Good audio and good daytime video, but it struggled at night. Where Yuffie wasn't the best at necessarily anything, but it was good in almost every category. The day shots weren't the best, but they were solid. The night shots, whether you're using the spotlight or not, you could see from far away, and I thought that it did a good job. The audio wasn't as good, but it was still good. And also, just briefly mentioning the apps, I like the app for Yuffie more than the Nest. Nest used to be where you could use the Nest app. Now you can't use the Nest app anymore. You have to use the Google Home app. And to me, that just still needs a lot of work. If you guys wanna see more details on that, take a look at the full review that I did for the Nest Cam battery. But I'd love to know your thoughts. Are you somebody who wants to keep their cameras hidden to catch bad things that are happening? Or do you want your cameras front and center for everyone to see to prevent things from happening? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to know your thoughts. I'd love to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. It definitely helps the channel out. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys in the next video.